Over will mark four years since Shane Sutherland died in police custody. An independent autopsy revealed the cause of death was positional asphyxiation, meaning the position he was in restricted his breathing and ultimately led to his death. Now his family is calling for changes, beginning with the way police officers are trained. Things need to change because this is horrible. Nobody ever wants to lose their child, especially in this way. This video released by Stockton Police shows part of the interaction between officers and Shane in October 2020. The San Joaquin County coroner ruled his death an accident, but an independent autopsy found Shane died of positional asphyxiation. Knowing how my son died and suffering and begging for his life and calling out for me, um, The Sutherland family has been fighting for change in police policies since they lost Shane. And last month, March 11th, 2024, the city of Stockton indeed adopted new use of force policies. I'm sad to tell you all that those policies are woefully inadequate. First of all, how do they start out? They say that terms such as positional asphyxia, restraint asphyxia, and what's called excited delirium continue to remain the subject of debate. That's false. Restraint asphyxia, positional asphyxia is based on medicine. It's based on science. The family is calling for more change and clarity to those guidelines. We believe that the city of Stockton should adopt the 1995 U.S. Department of Justice guidelines, which stated clearly that when you have an individual handcuffed, you get him up off his stomach as soon as possible, place him in what's called the recovery position. The fight for change in Shane's name continues, so other families don't find themselves in their shoes. Hey, he's turning <laughs> colors here. As a mother, it's like being punched in the gut every single day. They can put all the policies in place, but they have to hold them accountable. They have to implement those policies. We reached out to the city of Stockton to ask about these new use of force policies and how they address positional asphyxiation. They tell us that it is up to the police department to comment, and as of now, we have not yet heard back. Reporting in Stockton, covering local news that matters, Monica De Anda, Fox 40 News.